Industry on Parade. A brand new look at our America, produced on film each week by the National Association of Manufacturers. Industry on Parade looks in on a busy executive proceeding with his day's work, receiving reports, giving dictation, taking innumerable phone calls. Would you guess he was hard of hearing and is wearing a hearing aid? Well, take a closer look at his glasses. Built into the frames are all the components of a hearing aid. A thin one-inch tube conducts sound inconspicuously directly into the ear. The combination hearing aids and spectacles are manufactured here at Otarian Incorporated in Dobbs Ferry, New York. A visit to the assembly line reveals that the idea is far from being a gadget or novelty. The company, an experienced producer of conventional hearing aids, has poured everything it has in the way of technological know-how into the listeners, as it calls the new type hearing aids. Minute transistors take the place of much bulkier vacuum tubes. The use of comparably tiny batteries and other parts makes possible a chain of electronic elements that picks up a sound, amplifies it, and transmits it to the ear. All these elements crowded into this limited space. By skillful engineering, they've been able to cram in everything essential to power and clarity of sound without adding more than a fraction of an inch to the size of the glasses, nor more than an ounce or so to their weight. Tests for hearing deficiency cover not only loss of sound volume, but also failure to hear high tones or low tones and other factors. The technician covers the range of sounds audible to the human ear and determines precisely the degree and the kind of hearing loss involved. After the manufacturer has put together and adjusted the right listening elements and her optician or optometrist has prepared the prescription for correct vision, the customer gets a final fitting for adjustment of frames. Not bad. Better vision and better hearing in one package. 